understand Barrock has uh, an interesting slew of products here at the Auto Expo. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through your new offerings? Okay, so I think uh, interesting here is also the uh, Jaguar. So here it's uh, the new XF, it's full LED headlamp. Uh, here you have a low beam as well as uh, the dynamic bending. So as the, the vehicle is turning based on vehicle sensors and things like this, the kink beam is moving to the left and to the right to give you added visibility with uh, also additional high beam uh, below that. Interesting thing here is the LED allows us a very low profile uh, lamp. Also there's energy efficiency. And uh, the other thing I think is very interesting, although this is for a Jaguar, the optical system is quite cost effective. So we can scale that uh, based on customer needs using same optical system. So we can apply this also for mainstream technologies, not only for uh, a premium segment, something like this. Um, I think also on the, uh, on the Evoke is uh, interesting here because we're able to do very uh, low profile, very compact. We have various modules and that's part of our strategy to take uh, various modules put them all together and form a beam based on customer requirements. Again, looking at a very low profile and compact product. Uh, what are the trends we see in terms of technology when it comes to lighting with respect to the Indian market? Um, you're going to start to see more and more LEDs. LED in the, in the past has been more of for the premium segment. I would say we, the cost of the LED itself has gone down. Optical systems have become more efficient. The LEDs themselves become more efficient and it's driving the cost down. There's a lot of customer interest in uh, also signature, vehicle signatures, and the OEMs are driving that and customers are very interested in this. So the, the technology is moving on that. So it's a balance of performance as well as the art and styling. So I think you'll see more LEDs coming in the future in the Indian market also. When we talk from a segmental perspective, two-wheelers, passenger cars, and commercial vehicles. Are they all on the same line in terms of technology, like moving to LED, or what's the kind of split? You know, I think four-wheeler market is, is pushing forward, yeah? The key here is that we take the lessons learned from the four-wheeler market and then start to migrate into the commercial vehicle and the two-wheeler segment. The engineering tools are the same. Physics is the same for both markets. So we're developing new engineering systems, new simulation tools, new ways of doing design, new optical elements, and then we're able to apply those lessons learned on a more cost-effective manner onto the two-wheeler and commercial vehicles. And we're seeing that and we're working very closely now with our two-wheeler friends at Varak Group to start to apply those new uh, innovations in the two-wheeler market too. Right. And the last one to probably be specific on commercial vehicles. You work with some OEMs on truck and bus market, right? Mm -hmm. What's the kind of progress you're making on the commercial vehicle front in India? Yep. I mean, you can see right here, this is Volvo Eicher. So Volvo Eicher, we're starting to move in this direction. Traditionally, they've been glass lenses, very, I would say, very, I would say, old school type of technology. They're now moving to more and more to, uh, to plastic lens. They're interesting now in styling. Commercial vehicle has different uh, requirements, higher temperatures, stronger vibration requirements, different voltage requirements. But the idea here is that we try to apply what we've done on the four-wheeler market, take those technologies, apply those new uh, specifications to them, and, uh, and launch it also in the commercial vehicle segment. So I think there's more, more will come on that. And how is the acceptance of these advanced technologies from customers being the end users, like the truck operators, how open are they for these new technologies, given that the cost might go up a bit? You know, I, I think reliability remains the same. Their, their expectations on performance does not change. They're not going to accept that, hey, just because I have a plastic lens, uh, we're going to have a different level of performance. And that's a challenge on our side to make sure that. So we have to make sure that we understand their design requirements, give them exactly the same level of performance, and then try to also take uh, add the styling elements because styling is also interesting also for the commercial vehicles and apply that all together. And I think that's the challenge for us and I think we've done a good job with uh, customers on us. Thank you very much.